It's always a nerve-wracking experience seeing the fruits of a long-awaited crowd-funded project for the first time. Gamers invested their faith and money into Double Fine's latest adventure, Broken Age, and the result has been pleasantly rewarding. The game has been split into two halves, with Act 2 coming as a free update later in the year. I got it, but... Ah! Get off! Help! From the moment that first screen popped up, I was just so taken in by this art style. It's just beautiful. It's almost annoyingly beautiful. Yeah, it's got that wonderful painterly quality to it, doesn't it? It gives the characters real personality. Yeah, and those colours are so vibrant. The first screen gives you the choice of embarking on one of two stories, though you quickly discover you can switch between the two narratives as you go, wondering if they'll ever intersect. Hey. Rise and shine, son. I started on the adventure of Vela, who comes from a town of master bakers that must relinquish one person each year to a horrible monster. <laughs> but then curiosity got the better of me and I flicked over to Shay, a lonely space adventurer stuck in a boring daily cycle, decidedly lacking in any sort of adventure. Take your time. Eating isn't a race. Both stories feel really different, but the protagonists share that common drive and resourcefulness that's required of a puzzle solver. Wait, what? What the? The dialogue is well delivered with a talented voice cast. Don't worry, I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. Elijah Wood, Jennifer Hale. All missions are cancelled. Even some like Jack Black make their double fine return. Oh my, a fresh face rises from below. Both of these stories are charming and well-written, with tons of wacky humour and originality. It looks terrible on you. It might cost you the election. Please, whom am I to trust? My highly paid stylist or a girl wearing half a dress? Gameplay-wise, the format is pretty straightforward old-school point-and-click, though. I guess I was just hoping that with the uniqueness of the story and the art and it being double fine that they would, you know, come up with something a little bit more original, but this is still good. I guess the most important thing with these kind of games is that they're clear and well set out. What's that? Nothing. So that there's no confusion and you're not stuffing around with inconsistencies of the design. And I think they've achieved a pretty good balance. Although often the actions you would need to complete will occur in what looks like a cinematic sequence. So those will play out a few times for me before I realised I needed to be moving the mouse around and clicking on things. Yeah, you just need to be constantly assessing your options. With each narrative, you'll be combining items to solve problems, but often the answer is quite simple, so it's worthwhile not overthinking it too much. Always try the most obvious solution first. One thing I did really like about these dual storylines, though, is that if I did get stuck or bored on a particular puzzle, then I could just flick over to the other story for a while and spend time in that world, freeing up my brain to tackle a different problem. The puzzles aren't too taxing, are they? Which may disappoint some. There are plenty of vocal cues if you do get stuck and unsure of where to go. It'll lead you in the right direction. There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak. But there's such wonderful storytelling going on that I think this is a case of the focus being on that wonderful adventure rather than really mind-bending puzzle challenges. And I loved how even at the start of these stories you could just feel this darkness underneath them. Yeah, I mean it can be easy to get caught up in the loveliness of the art style, but you're essentially dealing with themes of human sacrifice. It's pretty full on. What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. You can't tell? There are also loads of little clues to that greater plot arc, as well as the more immediate puzzles you'll be dealing with in every conversation you have with the creatures and people around you. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chathra's stomach. It's just so well written. There was no conversation that I thought was boring or that I wanted to skip through. Yeah, and I love that you have your own purpose. But in order to achieve your goal, you need to work with and help loads of other characters along the way, creating those really lovely moments of interaction. Come here and help me! All in all, I think Double Fine delivered in spectacular fashion with this first act. There's a wonderful mix of simplicity in the style and execution of Broken Age, with what turns out to be quite sophisticated storytelling and consequence of action. 
You know, I had a few ideas about how this first act was going to pan out, but you're never really sure. No, no, nothing is what it seems. And every character you meet and every encounter is so weird and wonderful. This is beautiful work. I'm giving it 9 out of 10 rubber chickens. Yeah, it's such a creative and unusual world to explore. And there's a really cool ending that definitely leaves you wanting more. I adore this. I can't wait for act two. What I'm trying to tell you is that I made a hard choice, but I regret nothing because... Great story, computer. I'm giving it 9 out of 10 as well.